when when I've noticed for me anyway, when my being is working on a wave of emotions, it 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 removes emotional bandwidth from other stuff. So it feels like I have a, a, a finite emotional bandwidth. And the more of that bandwidth is taken up by an emotional wave, the less I have to be emotionally present for those around me. So that's that's going to be another a, a big lesson for me to keep in mind and remember so that again, hopefully I can I can be quick on the draw and, and recognize it so that if I am around other people, I can let them know, hey guys, j- just you know, everything's good, everything's fine. But I'm I'm just I'm just working on on some stuff emotionally. So I don't want you to think that's anything with you guys. That way, you know, those those around you, your loved ones, your friends, your family, that kind of thing, your even your coworkers maybe are not are not wondering, man, what's up with what's up with with this guy? You know, what's up with this lady? Why are they acting different or whatever? Leaders, influencers, entrepreneurs. So I want to share about waves. How on one's emotional growth journey, the waves of emotions uh, come at complete random. It may come after a trigger. It, it may it may come out of nowhere, and. So the frequency of those waves is unpredictable. The timing of those waves is unpredictable. Uh, The duration of those waves is unpredictable. And the intensity of those waves is unpredictable. And so, so when, so, so recently I had a wave hit and I was just coming back from a trip and you know something that normally takes me three days no no joke, no exaggeration. It normally takes me three days to to even realize that I am emotionally in a cave processing whatever it is that I'm processing um, this time. Again, thank God for this this growth journey that he's got got me on that this time it was within a matter of hours, which I, again that even sounds like a long time but thankfully, now I'm not saying that that happens every time uh, so this was just one of the most recent times, but I had got hit by a wave, and I realized that I was not emotionally available or present for my wife and daughter. And so that's kind of what was my signal. Cause I'm like, man, I'm not, I was, you know, I was driving back from the airport with my wife and daughter and I, I kind of realized, man, I'm not, I'm not talking. I'm not engaging. Like what, what is going on? And and then it it hit me like okay clearly i must be when i'm when that happens that is a sign that that my my being is working on something and and so so i was stoked that i even made it through all that pro, that those steps and then i even said hey i just want to let you know evidently i am working on something emotionally and, and at the time I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know. So I, I had to I had to think about that. But in, in the moment I'm like, hey, I just want you to know that you know we're we're good. Everything's fine. The trip was great, great trip. But from somewhere out of nowhere, I got hit with some emotions and evidently my my being is working on whatever those emotions are. And so Kathy's like, well, you know, do you know what, what it is that you're working on? I said, man, I, you know, 
I honestly haven't even thought about it yet. I, I don't, I'm not sure, you know, give me a second. Let me, let me think about that. And so after, you know, thinking, thinking a little bit, maybe, you know, 30 seconds, a minute, you know, I threw out a couple things. I think, well, I think it may be this. And I think it may be this. There's a few things. And, you know, for me, again, that may not sound like a big deal for you guys, but that was a massive victory for me. One, to just even realize and have the awareness that, okay, I'm not, I'm not interacting like I normally do with my family. So why is that? So number one, recognizing that. Number two, ask myself, why is that? And, and then number three, verbalizing it so that my family doesn't like wonder, dude, what's up with you? You know what I mean? Like, what's up? What's going on? You're not, you know, you're not the normal, you know, you're not your normal self. Like, what's up? So I verbalized it. And and then, you know, after she asked me the question, hey, what do you think about, you know, to be able to like take take 30 seconds a minute and like re- respond, give an answer to that question with with a few uh you know, potential answers that I think were, were, were fairly accurate. Th- that is a, that's a huge milestone for me. Cause again, you know, again, that, that is definitely not something that I have been able to do in, in the past. And, and so it just reminded me, man, these way, and, and, you know, throughout this journey, again, we're two to three years into this growth journey. It is, it is still shocking to me. Um, you know, when those waves hit, like it, it is, it, it's no joke. Um, and, and, and when, when I've noticed for me anyway, when my being is working on a wave of emotions, it, it, it removes emotional bandwidth from other stuff. So it feels like I have a, a, a finite emotional bandwidth and the more of that bandwidth is taken up by an emotional wave the less i have to be emotionally present for those around me so that's that's going to be another a big lesson for me to keep in mind and remember so that again hopefully i can i can be quick on the draw and, and recognize it so that if i am around other people I can let them know, hey guys, j- just you know, everything's good, everything's fine. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just working on on some stuff emotionally. So I don't want you to think that's anything with you guys. That way, you know, those those around you, your loved ones, your friends, your family, that kind of thing, your, even your coworkers, maybe are not are not wondering, man, what's up with what's up with with this guy? You know, what's up with this lady? Why are they acting different or whatever? Um, so that's going to be my my big takeaway, which, you know, again, here's the deal. The other thing, too, for me is that when those waves hit, again, if, if maybe if the, if the intensity of that a wave, maybe it's a, it's a little wave, maybe I'm able to, to control it and, and not let it affect my behavior or performance or leadership or business decisions. But then, but then. So there's some waves that when they've hit and, and they're big waves and they're intense waves, it it has absolutely impacted my decision making, my my critical thinking, my logic, my ability to process, and my ability to be present emotionally for and mentally for those around me for, for business, for, uh, my family, for leadership stuff. So, um, this big, big lesson on, on waves that, and, and, you know, my prayer is that as I get better at, at identifying and recognizing and processing, um, you know, my emotions that those waves, when they come, I'm hoping, and again, I'm not sure yet because obviously I'm still in the middle of the journey, those waves will be smaller or I will be able to deal with them regardless of size more effectively 
and more productively so that we can change a world by changing your world by changing you.